I wouldn't go like sightseeing or anything like that. Like some people go and check out all this stuff. That's not yeah. me. I'll go look at animals though, or mammals, or yeah, fish. Or fish. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome to season two, episode five of the Cookie Club with JD and Dom, presented as always by Insomnia Cookies. It's the season finale. And we are excited. Um, spring training flew by so fast. I think me and Domo have both agreed that it just was a outstanding spring and it was fun. Um, guys were locked in and we're itching to get the season rolling. I'm excited. You guys already know how how you know much I've talked about how good this team is going to be and how excited I am to just see everybody come together finally and play together at one. Now, guys, we've uh, we've given Dom a lot of grief over the years for the fact that JD brings on the guests. It's always JD doing the booking, but we have to give credit where credit's due because the season finale, oh. Dom brings on his Let's first go. guest, and it Make is a it is a monster guest, Marcus <laughs> Stroman. Joining us live from D.C., whereas Dom and J.D. are lazy in their hotel rooms right now, Marcus nice. is taking in the nation's capital. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for having me. I'm excited. Dom was Dom was begging, so I knew I had to come on and help him out. <laughs> My I got to appreciate this. I needed this. This is love. That's love right there, Steve. I got to know what, what Dom gave you. I mean, what, what happened here? Because Dom, Dom clearly struck out a lot. So what did he do to get <laughs> on the show? It's off the record, man, but <laughs> he, definitely, PG, definitely came, Steve. he definitely came with it or he's going to come with it. <laughs> what kind of feelings does, does opening day bring up for you? Man, so many feels, man. Honestly, I'm just super thankful and grateful to still be in this position, man. I'm, I'm going on year eight now. So just to say that, and to know where I'm at, to know my family's healthy. I'm just excited, man. Life is great. And just to make it to another opening day healthy um, in the rotation with an unbelievable team, man, it's a blessing. The big news last night, we're taping this. I should tell everybody we're taping this on Tuesday, March 30th. Um, there may be some other news coming down by the time this airs, but the big news as of right oh. now, last night, the black jerseys are back. And there cannot be a better person to have on this show than Marcus Stroman because – I, I don't, was it you who started that, that ball rolling downhill last year? Was it Pete? You were really early on the black jerseys. It was you. It was you. So how excited are you? Rick! <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, man. I've been pushing for black jerseys ever since I came over to be a Met, to be honest, because I tell everybody the first jersey that I ever got myself was a black Reyes jersey that I ever bought myself was a black seven Reyes jersey that I still have. And that's my homie, obviously Reyes now. And that's what I remember growing up, growing up. That, that's when I thought about the Mets, I remember the black jersey solely. I don't even honestly remember any other jerseys. Like when I think of Ray Ardonez and, and all these Piazza, obviously, but I just feel like that's synonymous with, with being a Met is that black jersey. So it's almost, it's awesome to have it back. I agree. I'm super excited. Um, just to change it up, <coughs> awesome. a little bit of flavor to it. And, um, I mean, those black jerseys were, I mean, they were unbelievable. I don't understand why they ever got rid of them, but to just have a, another jersey like that uh, in the rotation, it's going to be sick. I can't wait to see all the kind of swag we could pull off with it. Yes, I can't wait, Steve. It's going to be sweet um, just to have another jersey black. It's going to be great. And now we can start pushing for those camo jerseys now once those come out. So we start pushing the envelope. <laughs> hey, for real. I do have to say, Marcus, it's the pitcher's choice at home, right? What jerseys, maybe even on the road. You guys get to choose, right? So are we, I mean, do you, do you get to choose? Is black jerseys a choice? Do you know that yet? Because I would assume that it'll be basically every home start for you if that's the case. Every single home start for sure. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> black black do-rag. Hey! Yes! You know, I'm excited, man. So Marcus... He was the one who got everything going towards the black jerseys, clearly with, with HDMH apparel, with the new Shugo cleats. I mean, this guy, he brings it. He's got swag. He's got the swagger. Francisco Lindor also. I mean, we've seen like 11 different gloves. I mean, this guy, this guy has some flair as well. So 
Forget the fact that, that Marcus is on this call. Who would you take? <laughs> Who's got? Oh, <laughs> Strowman. Wow. Really? Fact that I mean, the fact that this conversation as a pitcher just tells you wordly about the swag, the drip level, where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's true. That's true. Like, I mean, not too many pitchers have swag. So mm -hmm. if he's over here competing with one of the best shortstop in the game who obviously has swag too, that's impressive. That's really good. I'm, I'm going to go with Stro only because I've known Stro longer and I know what he has. Lindor, he still has to, he has to show out a little bit. He said he's going to show out. So I, I'll re, I'll revisit this question in a couple months, but right hey, I'll now. Give this. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. I'll give I'll give Lindy got the on field. I'll give Lindy the on field just because I can't be out there looking like that as a pitcher. It'd be it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys hate me. Hey, guys hate me enough already. I don't need to be out there with all that, with all that drip, bro. <laughs> but off the field, off the field, no one in MLB messing with me off the field. That's all I'm gonna say. I was very excited to have both JD and Stroman on one episode because last year, people might not know this. Last year during the shutdown, Dom lived with Strowman. And during the season, Dom lived with JD. Okay, so Dom, we can start with you. We can start with you. Better roommate. Go. Oh, oh this is like <laughs> you can put us wow. on. Right this is this is this is you can't even compare these thoughts. two things. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like you can't even come, it's like apples and oranges, you know, you can't compare yeah. them both. I mean, they're both were different. Both were great. I mean, Strowman, he <laughs> took care of me. I mean, we were doing everything. He had the chef, Charlie. She's also yes. um, making sure mm -hmm. that we were getting our proper meals in. He had the indoor gym at his house. Um, so we were definitely hitting the weights hard. He had the <laughs> the water in the back. The <laughs> yeah, how, how could I compete? With I that? mean, it, it sounds was, like <laughs> sounds like Strowman. <laughs> sounds like Strowman. Like, but but I will say, I mean, when I lived with JD, he was awesome. I mean, he cooked me breakfast every morning. We yeah. vibed every day. He took me uh -huh. to the field. He drove me around. I mean, so they both were True. great. It's one A, one B. You can't go wrong with either or. I mean, they both were the best roommates I've had. Like seriously. They what did Dom awesome. get back to you guys? That's what I want to know because it seems like I mean, Strowman, you were living the light. <laughs> JD was cooking you breakfast every morning. I mean, we get we get anything yeah. returned, Marcus? Yes. I told, I told yes. Dom, yep, I got a few nice, a couple bottles of wine that are dope. But I told there you Dom, go. I told Dom, it's, it's more, it's honestly, I don't need anything back. <laughs> I don't need anything back, man. It's more for the fact of like, I told him in three, four years, bro, I better be able to pull up at his crib and chill with him and his chef and his vibe where I could just pull up whenever I want. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I just want to see all my boys winning, man. And I think that's that's cool. I want to see JD with the same vibe. I want to see everyone just kind of anything they dream of, I want to see him get. And then when they do, I'm going to come over and kick it and be a bum and chill and, and vibe with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. JD, what'd you, what'd you get from Dom? <sighs> Honestly, just his presence, I would say. Um... <laughs> Steve, I'm going to get you back. <laughs> This was a Rose Down episode. I like it. So we wrap things up now with introducing Marcus Stroman to Cookie Dough. So here we go. Marcus, I'm going to need to know, this has been out there, but I'm going to need, take a look here, and from all of you, I need to know the backstory behind six-year-old Marcus Stroman <laughs> on Nickelodeon no way. <laughs> what? 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 A legend, bro. I started young. Hey, you, know, <laughs> you know when Drake said knew you know when Drake said knew I was the man before the age. Look six? at him! Oh, look at him! So what is the backstory here? Tell us how you want a hundred dollar gift certificate to Toys R Us, I believe, right? On yeah. uh, on figure it out on Nickelodeon, you're six years old. What's the backstory here? I went to Disney one year with my family, man, just like on a trip and we went to go watch Figure It Out in the stands and we're in the stands and they just asked if I wanted to be part of like whatever. And we said yes. And like, it literally happened so quick, man. And they literally put me in that outfit. I think I had like a, a design, like a Nike or some shirt on. They put that like orange, they put that orange like jumpsuit over <laughs> me. 
And yeah, I've had that clip forever, man. My family still geeks over this. Uh, that is fire. I was hyped up. It was a sick clap. <laughs> sick clap. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the smile. Yeah. And that's how you teeth that hitters when I punch them out now. All right, guys. Well, that will do it for season two of the Cookie Club. Marcus, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you guys for having me, man. Appreciate it. Dom, you came through for us in the end. Um, you got anything you want to say to the fans? They Listen, they were clamoring for season two. We gave it to them. Anything you want to say here at the end of season two of the Cookie Club? Thank you guys for watching, tuning in. <laughs> um, it's been fun. Steve, Joe, you guys were awesome. You kept it light. You kept it easy. You guys made it easy on us when we made it tough on you guys. So thank you guys for everything. And um, Met fans, we're going to do it this year. I promise. We're going to play hard. We're going to work hard. And I can't wait to see y'all out there. JD, you got anything you want to add? Oh, man. You know, I'm excited. I'm excited to have you guys back in the stadium. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a blast just to kind of share some content, share some background info on the team and, uh, how we are as a group of guys and how we are in the clubhouse. So um, but thank you guys for, you know, tuning in and just uh, giving us your time and everything. And just like what Dom said, we're going to make a run at this. Uh, we love the lineup. We love the guys in the clubhouse and uh, we're going to get this thing going. Speaking of content, by the way, JD, keep that Instagram hot. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And for one last time in season two, he's JD. He's Dom. I'm Steve. That's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>